Do you know about the man who like escaped prison just by using a bowl of soup? No. So I saw a video by Thought E2. And when you think of someone like escaping prison, you think they have like a really complex plan or they have like special tools to break them out. But for Japanese prisoner Yoshi Shiratori, he actually just used a bowl of soup to escape. How? So before Shiratori went to jail, he was like a fisherman. Like he had a bunch of goals for his family. But sadly, he couldn't get a better job because he didn't have like the proper education. So he like turned to gambling and everything went wrong when he started going into gambling. He ended up getting accused for a murder that he says he never committed. Even Shiratori said, that he did not commit the murder but nobody believed him so he got thrown in jail but luckily for him after a few weeks he was able to find like a metal like wire and he was able to break himself out of jail because he was a locksmith what the heck but get this a couple days later after escaping he got arrested again but this time they put him in a jail cell and there was like a vent like a skylight vent above him there was rusted screws and he was able to break the screws and oh he escaped God. again so he's gotten away twice now yeah so after he got away the second time he went to go visit his friend who's a police officer but then his friend called the police on him and then Shiratori got arrested arrested again. But this time when they put Shitori in prison, they put him in a max security prison. So there was no chance of escaping. This guy cannot catch a break. So this prison was built so that no one could escape. And this time they put iron shackles around his ankles and like handcuffs around his wrists so oh. that he could not escape. So the cell had no windows. All it had was thick walls. By the front, there was like a little slot for food. Okay. So every day after getting beat up by like the guards and the prisoners, Shiratori would receive a bowl of hot soup. But Shiratori decided not to eat the soup because he realized that the soup had high levels of salt in it. And salty liquids, when put on iron material, it can actually make it rust and break away. Dude, no way. Yeah, and for months, Shiratori would spit the hot soup on his handcuffs and his shackles and like the little food slot, so it'd slowly start rusting away, and slowly, and eventually broke open. Shut up. He then dislocated his shoulders, and he fit right through the food slot and escaped. Dude, this guy's a genius. Yeah, he's the only one to ever escape the prison, but this story gets even crazier. So after Shiratori escaped the prison by using a bowl of soup, he fled to the mountains, but it was really tough conditions, because it was like snowing, and there was a lack of food, and he had to live in caves. So it was like really brutal. He lived in caves? Yeah, it was really tough for him. So after living in the mountains for two years, he realized that he was running out of resources and it was unbearable to live. So he decided to move to like a local Japanese town. So when he got to the Japanese town, he noticed like a bunch of farmland and he saw a bunch of tomatoes growing. So he was starving. So he went to go eat the tomatoes. Okay. So Shiratori was eating all the tomatoes, right? And then all of a sudden the owner of the farm came up to Shiratori and was really upset that he was eating his tomatoes. Oh boy. So the farmer was really upset at Shiratori and he literally tried to kill him. But out of self-defense, Shiratori accidentally killed the farmer. No! So Shiratori was arrested again, but this time he had no chance. He was given the death sentence. And while he was waiting for his execution, he was put in a 100% proof cell. So there was no way of him getting out. And there were six guards guarding his cell at all times watching him so that he couldn't get out. Don't tell me he gets out of this one. So days would pass by and the guards realized that Shiratori was really depressed because he realized that there was no way of getting out this time. They said that all Shiratori would do is basically just lie in his bed and sleep because this time there was no skylight vent, there was no lock, there was no little food slot so he was stuck he's done well that's what everyone thought until one of the guards realized that shiratori was gone stop it so shiratori at nighttime when the guards thought he was sleeping he was actually digging a tunnel underneath his bed and he broke the floorboards and he actually tucked it underneath his sheets so it made it look like he was sleeping and get this he used a soup bowl to dig his way out like using it as a shovel you gotta be kidding me yeah so years after escaping he got tired of running and basically just said i'm gonna turn myself in and he went back to jail but this time the government realized that shiratori was actually a good person and they let him go early on good behavior, so he only had to serve 14 years in prison. There's even a statue in Japan of Shiratori to remember his name. This is the craziest prison break story I've ever heard.